how do dogs and cats watch TV? <laughs> well, uh, so they, they don't see very well because their flicker fusion rate is a little different than ours. So we're, we're sensitive to uh, images that flash at, at, at a certain pace because of the natural uh, frequency of transmission in our eyeball. So as long as a, a TV or a movie, moving picture, flashes faster than our brain's process flashes, it looks like a nice, smooth motion. But actually dogs in particular, have much faster flicker fusion rates. So they, what they see when they look at our TV are actually flashes of light, which would be, you know, the screen would be flashing at them. And that would be very distracting. So it's part of the reason why dogs don't seem to have uh, much interest in television is that it's probably sort of annoying <laughs> to watch a, a flashing screen like that. Now, cats are a little bit different, and um, c cats can se seem to be able to uh, capture the image a little bit faster. Uh, and so they're, they, they can be interested in television. Uh, but but dogs really don't. They they it, it it's very rare that a dog would take interest in something. That so they, they see. see do they see like still images or they just? Yeah, flashing still images. So it's almost like in the old days when when uh, the oldest motion pictures really did look like a series of of fast moving images that were that were flashing at you. That, that's kind of how they would see our television. So just like it's just uh, picture by picture. Mm-hmm. And but but wouldn't that be like little in, of interest for them? So they won't see a movie necessarily, but like they would see. Yeah, just I just I images. just think it's sort of distracting. It and I I I mean I, you got to remember that also they they don't navigate the world with their sense of vision near as much as we do. Mm. So most mammals, if you put primates aside, most mammals actually navigate their world by their sense of smell much more than they do. Uh, their sense of vision, their sense of sight. And so um, it's, it's partially why, you know, when your dog recognizes you when you come in the door, it's much more by your smell than, than by how you look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and so, and it, it, you know, they, that's why they don't really, the mirror test doesn't really work on dogs. They just, they don't navigate the world uh, as intensely on sight. And so television having no smell to them, it would just sort of be confusing to them. Uh, they, it just it, When there's no smell associated with anything that they're seeing, it just wouldn't sort of, combine and compute in their brain. Yeah, every time I watch TV and there's a, there's a dog sometimes and they, they sit there and oftentimes, it, it, at least it looks as, especially after I, I, I read that in the book, it, it looks a little bit like they're looking at you and they're like, what, what, are, what are you looking at? It's like, <laughs> what are you doing? Right. What are you doing? Like sitting here doing like watching this thing and they're like looking at this, looking at like, what are you looking at? Because they, I think they might be able to and to understand that you're looking at this thing, but there's like, what's, what's there? It's yeah. I mean, I mean a little bit, I, I, usually if television is a total novelty to them, maybe. Um, but I think mostly they're just not going to take much interest in it at all. It, it's almost like it's an apparition. Like they don't, there's no substance to it if they can't, uh, you know, get the smells and so forth. Yeah. Just to end uh, this, uh, segment, uh, would, uh, Flickering the picture faster, so I like uh, maybe fast forwarding would make it more interesting for them. Right, so it's a good, it's a good it would. It, I think it would probably like hold their attention a little bit more in the sense of they it would they would see it as a smoother thing. But again, I think it's really um, it's really hard to put yourself in the mind of a dog because they're they're tr they're they're so much more driven by smell and and, and to a lesser extent sound, but really smell. Mm -hmm. that um, it, would, it would be like a, almost a, a ghost, an apparition, since it wouldn't feel real to mm -hmm. them without something associated with, uh, with it as smell. And, and it's really, it's hard to overstate just how much better their sense of smell is than ours. I mm -hmm. mean, we're talking millions of times more sensitive. So they can smell something, you know, much, much farther away, much faster than, than we would. Um, and so if they're not getting that, it really just sort of doesn't make sense to them. It doesn't, so it doesn't come together as a, as a recreated whole thing in their brain. Mm -hmm. Thank you.